Yeah, so we have here today uh, and yesterday these awesome good feedback about our one point fits all system. We show the latest developments uh, of, of my system. So the one who has no idea about the one point fits all system already, I show a short demonstration how that works. So we give you the option for a reference point what we can attach on any surfaces. We have solutions for any surfaces. We can glue, we can screw, we have a suction cup for glass. We have even for, for outlets, we have a solution for indoor scanning. Uh, we have anchor sleeve, tie holes, whatever you need. And then the only thing what you can do is, now you click on the prism, and then you have 360 degrees the same point. Important white paper available, accuracy 0.6 millimeter, including the error of the instrument. You can take this off, next day you're coming back, same point again. And you just leave, this is stainless steel, but stainless steel for magnetic. And you just leave that point. Then, if you want to use one thing like this one here, so you can turn it and tilting in all direction, and then you, the only thing what you have to take care of is the right tilting height. A very nice, and I would say more and more people really are surprised that how tricky it is sometimes to fix the 360 on the wall. I would say no one can do that faster than I can. And now, uh, this is a 220 degrees prism, but a 360 on the wall is 180, I would say. And now you can take it off, you can take it on, same point again. But also, if you have a slope, for us it doesn't matter. If you want to use it horizontally, no problem. And you just take it away, and if you want, coming back with a scanner target, same point again. And this, the success, I would say, is the fixing point. So you can see that here, uh, yeah. Quite quick. Thank you so much. So you can see that here. We have this is our reference point. We have five eight threaded uh, rods. We have already now M6, M8. This is not here because it's new. Clamping points, heavy duty anchor, floor stand, uh, uh, protection uh, suction cap. Then we have for the anchor sleeves. Uh, it's also awesome for monitoring. And you see, we have all these kind of targets. We have the cases and all these stuff available. And uh, I'm looking forward, if you have any questions, just let me know. Because we also can always do customized solution, like this, what we did for the uh, New York City um, underground. Uh, so we, we have all options What what uh, for future. You showed me earlier that GPS. Uh, monitoring oh yes, solution. so um, for yeah. G for GPS as an example, yeah. when we when we start a uh, construction site in the middle of nowhere for digging, the accuracy has to be as accurate. So what we offer now is we have this plug what you can put into the ground, and now we have an adapter here where you can put the pole on. It's on zero. You leave that for half an hour. You take this off, and now you can come back every single day and you just put the prism on and you have all around the same point. Okay. And you can also use it for drones then, because we yeah. have in the same tilting height a drone target. And what what type of, uh, of prism, where, uh, where they are built, because people might be concerned. When you're this talking about monitoring, you know, the quality of a prism is very important, so. Uh, yes, uh, and I'm always say, I'm often wondering when people have a one second instrument, and I see them working with target reflectors. That is always, yeah, it's, it's know, still, know, it's still. So we have a white paper available. The white paper is can download on our website. Uh, okay. the, the accuracy of our prism is proved by University in Munich. It's 0 0.6 millimeter, including the error of the instrument. Okay. This is very, very important. And the white paper is very important. So we are always proving our, our system. We are continuing now with more uh, let's say we, we want to have a white paper for the uh, for the 220 degrees prism. We have tested them with Leica, with Trimble, very accurate, but it takes time to get the white paper. Of course, of course. So what are you saying? All all your prisms are uh, are tested and checked, or at least the most of them, because yeah. especially the ones that you provide monitoring is very important. That's very to important. know that the client doesn't have too many extra errors. 
this is this is you one of the to your, to your measurements that is people. one of the most important things so yeah uh, the people sign uh, i think the problem often is in the description yep they force the people using a half second a second yeah, instrument but it's not written the accessory i know i know the accessory know. should be as precise uh description of in course, description as as the instrument that the prism is, is very important yeah. of course the the glass all or the, if you want to get uh millimeter or close to millimeter accuracy you you need a good methodology and uh of course uh, your prism everything needs to be perfect calibrated set up it on your fixed me, point i know i know it took me three quarter of a year right. uh to bring the prism in that accurate position I testing can imagine. Um, then prototype, testing, prototype, testing, prototype, all the time. I know. But we reached it, and we are very happy that now we also have the white paper. That's very, very important. You always have uh, new stuff, and uh, yeah. you always innovate, and this is what I like about you. Yeah. Also, also like like this one we did now for the for the for a customer because he also wanted to know that point, and this is in a tunnel as an example, very tricky. Okay. So for us, it is easy because here this point is the same as the scanner target and this gives you the direction so now they have this point up to the sky they know all the coordinates as long as they are in this uh, axis and and the angle doesn't matter right i understand no it's good that's really cool yeah and so the next step would be a belt for uh, columns for for concrete columns because it's not allowed to drill right um, yeah, yeah 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 and yeah, we yeah. have a That's nice a one, solution yeah. for uh for steel columns we have also a nice solution okay. so yeah that, I, will, I will be actually interested because i personally i have clients that uh yeah that um they they do a lot of steel work and they 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 need accuracy verticality and uh, yeah and for, like. for resection yeah yeah. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so i give you an example so you made a dot here with a yeah. waterproof pen you can put the magnet on here you bring yeah. the magnet in the accurate position so oh, that, really is, that it's center <laughs> yeah. very strong and now you just put the 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 pop on and in all directions now you have the same point you can take it off and on again you can take the the, the magnet with you or not in the same time if you want then we have this system you can put a, a drone target or a scanner target on once again the same point so we are always in the system right. that whatever you use for all instruments in a millimeter accuracy because before you you had the the Leica ball that was once you take it out you can't put anything in so now you can reuse it for the same point for yeah scanning or for, for everything and then you can coordinate and then all yeah i can i can yeah. see the utility here yeah. and uh, also there there is also tested from a surveyor he tested our floor stand and oh, yeah. uh, so sometimes we are doing we, we drill a hole in in into the the ground put a nail into uh, just for resection he tested this floor stand for resection and and then he said the problem is when I'm doing the old-fashioned way, I always have to carry the tripods. Yeah. But here, I just put it on the floor. I can put my prism on. I can do the resection, and I can take this one again and done. So yeah. what what I show here is the he proved it, and he got a, the the worst the worst uh, result was 1.5 millimeter. Yeah. So yeah, that's important because I I know I have the same problem on. Uh, on some projects I was working inside yeah. the building yeah. and I needed to, to to transfer the coordinates from the fifth floor down to the oh. underground. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, I had a bit of challenge. I need to improvise a lot, but that, that would make, probably would yeah. make my life very easily. We, we also can combine all these prisms together. We, the click system. Yeah. Some people always call it Lego. I, I like that because yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can you can you yeah, can put it definitely. in all in all directions. And also very popular now is this one here. We okay. just talked about because this is an option. You can put it on a prism pole, and now it's a 220, but it's a very accurate uh, version, and it is less 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 expensive than a 360. Okay. And it's and you have a uh, the, the only thing what you need is the height is 50 millimeter and done 
Uh, it actually might be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> we already, today we talked about a, a second solution for that. Uh, yeah. Is I will, that's why we had this on the top, because I'm thinking about putting a peak on there. We turn it around and use it for... As a mini for, for, Yeah. And, uh, okay. and then very popular also is our okay. stakeout ad. So, and the funny thing is I have seen a picture from, uh, from a customer. Uh, when we, we, we're doing this, the layout on the ground, so you, you have the controller. When you reach the point, you lay it down. Yeah. And when the fine adjustment is done, you just slice and sign. But then often when we, when we need the point on the ceiling, we have to transfer from the ground on the ceiling. Yeah. This is the first time I can do it directly. Right. Because it's not heavy. Yeah. And it's also yeah. magnetic if you want. Transfer of heights. Because yeah. we have an offset then of 50 millimeter. Transfer of heights. It's so easy also to doing with this one here. Stake out on a facade. You copy the, the facade on the on the center of 50 millimeter. And then you can do that as well. Very handsome uh, item. And I, I had already a surveyor yesterday. He said, hey, that I have in my hand every single day I use this. So I can, I can see always, the utility for some people. Yeah. Depends on your project, of course. I like oh, that. That's very interesting. Yeah. yeah I'm great. sure you are listening for feedback. And um, you I'm always, uh, yeah, yeah. So if, where, where people can find you? Oh, well, on the website uh, uh, with uh, metadis.de or smarttargets.com. OK. On LinkedIn. George Rotbucher on LinkedIn, just be connected. Uh, we have a YouTube channel from Rotbucher really? Systeme where we have the videos. Okay. I'm looking forward to put this on the video okay, on okay. my YouTube channel as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so whenever question, just call me and we're looking for a solution. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much. Ian. My pleasure. Okay. Like always. Thank right. you so Thank much. You.